We're at Rover Park, a four-wheel drive playground 35 kilometres east of Tenderfield on the Great Dividing Range. There are 250 kilometres of trails, half for motorbikes and the rest for us. So Matt, we're after something pretty challenging to start off with. What do you recommend? Look, I was thinking if we go down via River Flats and do a bit of a circuit, there's a track which comes back up to the kiosk here. Uh, it's called Kiosk Way. It has a nice little rocky step in it. Um, yeah, a bit of a drop off on the edge. So I think these, these vehicles will be fine. So I think that might be our first, first shot today. Sounds like a plan. Matt agrees to join us for a few trails and together we head down the valley towards our campsite. But not far from the top, Bill hits the brakes after spying a potential short but steep challenge. Yeah, it's pretty steep. Far out. <laughs> I don't know if you want to what do, do you reckon? <laughs> what do you reckon, Dad? Do you want to hit that? Mate, uh, absolutely. It's, what's it called? Pat Yoda. Yeah, Pat Yoda. <laughs> I think we'll give it a go. Why not? And with a name like Pat Yoda, I think it's calling me. But Bill's in the lead with Matt riding shotgun, so they'll go first. It's worth noting here that while Matt owns Rover Park, he's more of a dirt biker than an experienced four-wheel driver. He's on a steep learning curve that's about to get steeper. Yeah, I've got to tell you, I've never done this. Oh, OK, that's all right. <laughs> She'll be all right. We'll get up. <laughs> you nervous? No, no, I'm feeling good. Oh, okay. It's good. I'm glad You've you are. You've been driving for a long time, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I've had my, had my license for four three years now. So. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Give it a go. As Bill hits the steepest part of the climb, Matt is holding on pretty tight. <laughs> I did get a little bit nervous there. I did. <laughs> did you? I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That was a bit of a weird angle. Then. <laughs> get our hearts going. I think the silence in the car said it all. Yeah, didn't yeah. It? <laughs> Let's not talk. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Now it's my turn. Places like Rover Park, they are all about testing the skills of your vehicle. So this is a really gnarly little incline here. So I'm going to try and do it without my differential lock engaged. It is super steep. So we'll see what happens. Grip. It slipped, but then it went. <laughs> Lock of free, baby. Lock of free. I don't think you ever get used to that rush of blood you get on climbs like that. Our campsite is just down the hill on the Cataract River. There are a few really pretty riverside spots to stay, but you'll need a four-wheel drive to reach them. We drop our swags off and then it's on to our next adventure. This little section of wombat holes here is the perfect example of how brake traction control works. I've chosen not to engage the locker here in these little wombat holes, but what's happening is the Everest is braking, there we go, it's braking the tyre that's up in the air and sending that power to the uh, to the tyre that's on the ground. Um, so it means without engaging the lockers, uh, we're able to crawl up those wombat, wombat holes, even when there's not a lot of traction. The section of trail also gives my Ford Ranger something to work with. The BF Goodrich rubber is up to the task. Ahead and up the hill is the main game, a track called Kiosk, which is rated extreme. This looks like an interesting little little spot. Jeez, I am needing every bit of traction I can get now. I'm just going to gently pop the old locker on. We are coming up to a nice little step. And up we come. Let's see if the locker does its trick. <laughs> 
bit of slippage, but straight up. Lovely. Step in there. And then a drop off down the side. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got to go around that drop off, or around the rock. Yeah. And avoid the drop off. Yes. True. How are you feeling over there? Yeah, You're right. I can, I can see all the way down there. I'll work the locker in. See if we'll be able to walk it the rest of the way up. On this hill, there are plenty of ruts and boulders, along with a few tricky steps to climb over. Why wouldn't you come to a place like this where the entire joint is a fun park? That was actually a fun little hill. Near the top of Kiosk Way, we pass through a gate and are just about ready to high-five each other. But at the last second, Bill and Matt find themselves in a spot of bother. <laughs> They've slid off the track on loose rock and are teetering just above a ravine. He could slide straight off the side of this track. If the recovery isn't done right, there's a chance they'll hit a tree, or even worse, fall into the steep valley. Next. This is a pretty interesting situation. It's quite tricky. OK, Bill, all clear, winching. Our rescue recovery. To get Bill and Matt out of trouble. Things get messy in a couple of lovely mud holes. And then we clean up Rover Park style. And make sure you check out the Mr. 4x4 app at mr4x4.com.au.